Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we're taking a look at another new class. This time around it is going to be the TV head zombie. Last episode was the wildflower. Basically the same thing, a swarm type class with the same moves with different names. It's the same class, it just looks really cool. Both of them do. I really like the TV head zombie though. I think aesthetically I like him a little bit more. He has that retro feel to him, he has a head with a it's in a TV and he has like the VCR player as his like main weapon like a pretty cool little idea He's got going on there. So let's read a little bit about him when we pause the game here TV heads may be unassuming when they are on their own But as a group they become overwhelmingly powerful when they are near ally TV heads bots or minions They receive armor as you can see there's three abilities and these are basically exactly the same as wildflower We have commercial break place your next respawn location with a bucket. So just like that one um, we place that down and we can respawn from here. This one is a bucket with a TV in it, or TV remote in it. Um, triangle is Yeti Set Go. Control a fast frozen friend who explodes on command. This one, once again, exactly the same as at the Dandelion. It would have been cool if it had maybe like slowing people down or something because it is frozen, but doesn't have any kind of slowing effect. And then we have Overheated Dinner. Toss an explosively overheated dinner that hurts enemies and knocks them into the air. So just like with the Wildflower, you toss it over and it should just explode. This one is actually a little bit diff different because it does wait a moment before it explodes. Um, the other one was just about instant. And then we have the rapid fire tape projector, special receive armor from each nearby ally, TV head, bot, or minion. So you can see, I think the primary weapon is just about identical. So yeah, we're just gonna go online into some turf takeover and see how we do with the TV head zombie. Okay, so let's get started with everything here. Um, looks like we're defending the payload. So I've talked about this before. I don't believe the swarm classes are good for defense, but we'll do what we can, okay, try to contribute however. As long as we keep bunching up with people, that will make a big difference. And it looks like there are some other um, TV heads around, so that will encourage us to you know, continue to do that. Uh, there's a rose coming on over here. Couldn't quite finish her off, but we definitely lowered her health there, which is good to see. Gonna launch it right over there. And actually hit one of their spawnables. That's nice. Oh, that chomper. He's low on health. Got him. Very good. Oh no. Oh, we run out of health so fast if we're not careful. And now I'm a goat. Okay. Hide behind the doctor heals. Perfect, actually. I think a snapdragon might have fired something at me there. And let's send in the little Yeti. Oh, there's gotta be somebody, right? There's actually nobody. Hold on, hold on. Hey guys. Hey guys, don't mind me. Boom, that did some good damage, but not quite enough to finish you off, come on. Okay, get the nightcap then, or somebody, anybody. Oh well, didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Throw out that TV remote again. See, it'll just sort of chill out there and not do anything if it lands on the floor opposed to an opponent, which the the wildfire one definitely doesn't. So I don't know why that's like the one difference. Okay, you're really going for me here. See, how does he do that melee hit? I'm not sure. That might be like an upgrade later on. Because I don't know how to get to that. Weird. Okay, here comes the chomper. We'll destroy some plants. Oh, launching that over. Okay, now, oh my. I was gonna say, it seems like a good time to spawn in the Yeti. I'm glad I didn't. There we go. Vanquish streak times five right now. That's beautiful. This Dr. Heals was a very good tactical placement by whoever placed it, so. Thank you to them for that. We get the double vanquish with the Yeti. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And there's our, our max level. That's cool. So you know what? Maybe between rounds, I'll go back to Giddy Park and upgrade that so that maybe we could get more than one upgrade in today's episode, or at least move closer to it. There we go. I finally got vanquish, but after like a seven vanquish streak. So can't complain about that for sure. Yeah, so far so good. Seems like I at least get a little bit luckier with the TV head zombie than I do the wildflower, but I guess we'll see that more as we move forward. Let's, there we go, grab that. Ow, okay, they're coming in from this way now, trying to change up their approach. Don't know if that'll exactly work for them, but I'm going to work towards trying to put a stop to them in general. Where did that rose go? I think somebody, ah, oh, probably took her out. Let's see that. Uh, okay, plop down here, put down the bucket, heal up with Dr. Heals. We're holding them back quite well though. Like they still haven't, whoa, made too much progress. Hi, Snapdragon. Got him, okay, good. Oh boy, dodging that for sure. This Rose though, <laughs> really means business. Can't quite get her. 
Ah, oh, that hit the wall. That would have been great. So it would have definitely landed by that chomper. Okay, hey! Hey, you destroyed my Yeti! <laughs> Somehow though I have full health. No, the Dr. Heels got destroyed. Okay, yep, we got another one. Nice, we got a couple of TV heads right now. I think that's gonna make a big difference. Okay, ready? Toss that down that way. It didn't quite get her, darn. Okay, Colonel Corn. nice. I'm getting a lot of assists right now, but honestly, that's sort of what to expect for a swarm class, or at least I think that's what you should expect. Okay, good opportunity to back up here, get the Yeti out, or not. Ugh, the Rose is ruining everything. <laughs> Oh boy, revive you real quick or something. Nope, looks like they pushed it all the way. Yeah, it's weird that that's like the little ending point there. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I got you there. That was a pretty good move. Happy with that one. So they must, they, you know, the, obviously they, they mu might as well push that all the way. Well, I mean, they did. I don't know, I can't word that properly right now. Um, but that's okay because we can still push them back a bit. Burn some of their time up while they're here. But I wish it was a way to like quick promote so that we could keep earning experience throughout this round because right now any experience we earn, unfortunately, isn't really gonna go too much. But hey, it'll still be worth it just for the fun of playing this guy. We currently have nine vanquishes. Let's stack that up a little bit higher. There was already a chomper around here? Weird. We have so many. Ah, uh, help please, help. Ugh, not enough help was given. We have so many TVZ, TV zombies on our team right now. That gave me a lot of experience too, darn. Thank you for the revive. It says I can respawn a beacon. I wonder, that, that's back at the other place, isn't it? I don't think that's the best idea, so I should probably replace it, because it would probably just put me in immediately, um, like an auto-adjusted zone, where it just like, you know, auto-spawns me. Hmm. Gotta be careful, because I am extremely low on health. Oh, watch it! Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha, run! Nice. I wanna get this Yeti out. Little Yeti imp. Gotta be able to do something here, right? Explode! Yeah, I got 100 damage on ya. Let's finish you off. Yes, there we go, I need that more often. Definitely work on that sunflower a little bit. Oh, I was almost able to get rid of her. Toss that all the way down there. Oh, I hit the chomper in midair. That was cool, I wish I saw more stuff like that more often. Oh, he got me though. But we're gonna vanquish Streak of Five before that. See, we're doing really well with their first run of TV, TV head zombie. My brain can't pronounce, I can't pronounce anything today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I guess they must have destroyed my bucket because it's not there anymore. Hmm. Okay. So they still have plenty of time to take this, so we need to stay vigilant, keep at it. Toss that down that way. Oh, that got somebody, set him flying high. And the pea shooter. And this guy too, come on, come on. Oh. That was pretty good, we already got the triple vanquish streak. Anybody else around here? Hello, point to stop to you. Yeah, we actually got her with that, fantastic. We're doing really good. I'm happy with this for sure. All right, that was just a terracotta weed, that wasn't an actual player. Hard to tell nowadays. Hard to tell. Oh, hello. Now you are an actual player. Toss that down that way. That has to get somebody. Yes, it does! Ooh! I got the multi bank where something was happening there. It's getting like a little aura. Watch it, please. Okay, time for the Yeti. Time for the Yeti. See ya. <laughs> I love how they just rock it up into the air when you hit them with that. It's great. That's not quite gonna get you. You moved over too fast. He's really trying to take out the zombies. Whoa, okay, I'm running. Time to skedaddle, no, I couldn't outspeed him. That stinks. I wonder if I can get to the bucket before he destroys it. Ah, oh, he destroyed it. Jeez, haven't really been able to do that too much. What are the 21 vanquishes right now? I don't know if it's just chance or if the TVZ, TV head zombie, why do I always want to say TVZ? TV head zombie is that much better than the wildfly, like what, what would be different? As far as I can tell, it's basically identical. And I talked about that a little bit last episode when we checked out the wildflower, but there we go, very good. Um, 
it's weird that they are identical because it's like the only two classes in the game that are like that. Um, and in God of War for one, you would sort of experience that, right? Where there were a lot of identical classes, like every God of War, for, for God of War for one, every plant class had an identical zombie class. The cactus was like the engineer in a way, but they were still different. They were still different, but mostly the same. Um, you know, with the engineer and the cactus, with the pea shooter and the soldier. They were different, but they were very similar. In God of War for two, the differences sort of widened, especially as they added more unique classes with Rose and Super Prince and stuff. Battle for Neighborville, every class is justifiably unique, um, in my opinion. They still fill s similar roles, but the, the actual actions of the class is pretty unique. Um, but then the Swarm classes come around and they're just identical to each other. So that sort of ruined the mojo there. I, I just feel like that's like one design oversight they sort of made with that. There we go. We got you with that, that was pretty good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna set up the Yeti right now and we're just gonna go for somebody. You, that's it. <laughs> just gotta rush in with that. Is that everybody? I'm sure they'll be more popping up any second now. Oh, they're coming in from this way. Aha! That missed all of them. That was a shame. We were just waiting on the wrong side. Oh, now they show up over here, huh? Oh my. No, the, the, the chopper found me. <laughs> he was, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I alive? What was that? That was weird. Oh, the wizard was there. All right, well, didn't know. Not much I could do about it in that situation. But they're still pushing for this. They're really trying to get a win here and they might. Plants definitely push to the final point quite a lot on this map. Okay, I'm gonna throw that all the way down. Did not get as much distance as I was expecting. Oh, that pea shooter's a problem. Yeah, I think I'm better off fighting him than I was uh, trying to run away there. I was just sort of caught out in the open. And I think that's what he was expecting. I think he was expecting me to run away. So the fact that I fought back might have played to my advantage. Okay, who do we got around here? Got lots of Yeti imps just jumping around and exploding. Hey, buddy. Oh, not quite enough to get him though. Hopefully somebody takes him out. Might be a good idea to sneak around a little bit. We have some backup here with the electric slide, so. Hmm. Right there, come on, come on. Boom, knocked him around a little bit. Please don't have bad aim when I really need to not have bad aim, or the game just lagging. Those are two really awful scenarios that seem to happen. Ah, uh, that time I definitely just wasn't aim on, aiming on the pea shooter, but the, when I was aiming on the sunflower, the game was sort of tapping out on me, which is never good. I don't know, sometimes it seems like the server problems for this game will never end. There's always that little hiccup in the servers whenever the rough gets going, it seems. Anyways, we'll, we'll go ahead and get the Yeti Imp out. Oh, you don't see me, right? You don't see me, I don't think. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> That's so satisfying. I love it. Might as well go ahead and get a a bot here. Oh boy, do you see me? Oh, we're so close, so close. I literally just need one more shot on you. Where did you go? Where did you go? All right, well, he escaped. Dang, that just wouldn't explode. Sometimes I do prefer it when the, the wildflowers immediately explodes, because that would have been really useful there. Oh well. We're still doing great. We're still competing for top vanquisher here. I keep forgetting the respawn on the thing. But they're about to get this right now. And it looks like we won't be able to stop them. Oh well. Oh my. No, oh, come on, Rose. Get out of here. Here, catch that for me. There we go. Can I get him? Almost, almost. I can get you for sure, right? If Nightcap doesn't jump around too much. One more shot, there it is, that was beautiful. Okay, I'm about to get in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> Might as well, come on quickly. I tried to spawn in the Yeti, but it just wouldn't let me. I wanna test that, is see how fast can I spawn in the Yeti and immediately explode that? Because apparently not too quick. I don't know, that was pretty quick. It wasn't letting me do that before, though. I don't know, it was awkward. It was weird. Either way. 
We have five minutes to defend here at the Master Switch. I know we can do it. They'll be all bunched up, so I feel like we'll be even in an even better position to push them back. They haven't really even showed up yet. Come on, come on, what do we got going on? Something up there, so I'll give that a little toss. Oh, that pea shooter was like next to no health. Don't know where he went though. Hmm. Oh, can I get him? No, ow, ooh, they're tearing me up. Maybe this area's a little too open for me. Maybe I will struggle here, but. But if we use our Yeti appropriately, I can only imagine, the Yeti Imp, it's not a full-blown Yeti, but Yeti would have been a cool character for this game. I still think they should do like a PVZ Heroes styled shooter, where it's all the PVZ Heroes characters as classes. That'd be fun. I mean, obviously some of those characters are already classes, Super Brains and Citron were in PVZ Heroes as playable characters, and like Rose and stuff, but like, you know, the Yeti and, um, Chompzilla, those kind of characters. They'd be fun as playable classes for sure. Oh boy, here we go. I think that if they were gonna go for another class-based shooter that wasn't going to be, you know, variant-based, they wanted just dedicated classes, I think they would have been better off with that personally. There we go. Side tangent aside, let's focus on getting some vanquishes here. There's another wildflower running around. Trying to cause issues for my teammate over here. Not appreciated. Oh no, where'd you go? There was a nightcap right here. Oh, I see a little shadow. I see a little shadow. No, don't let them do that to me. Well, that's just embarrassing. Nobody's gonna be able to get that pea shooter. Nobody, he's so low on health. You're kidding. All right, it's fine, it's fine. They still haven't pushed the master switch too much. And hey, if we win, that's still awesome, right? Let's keep it moving. But we've gotten a lot of experiences around that just didn't really go to anything because of how uh, leveling characters up works. Oh, definitely work on that chomper. Got him? Well, he's got an assist. Hmm. There's a lot of people over here. Don't know if it's super helpful for me to be over here too. Okay, you're going down. You don't even see me. So I'm just gonna take you out. You did not see me at all there. I'll spawn that in. And I guess we'll run over this way. I don't know how good of an idea this is right now. Oh, that did some good damage. Yeah, he's gonna notice me. <laughs> he's gonna notice me, all right. Run away, run away. Oh, does he see me? Oh, he sees me, all right. He sees me. Help me out here, Super Brains. Okay, ready for this? And jump off the ledge, run around here. Don't immediately go for me. I know that's a computer player, too. Ugh, if that wasn't a computer player, he'd have no reason to focus on me. There we go. There we go, come on, let's keep this up. And there's a pea shooter behind me. Okay, be sure to respond to the actual bucket this time. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, that's so close to being able to get them, but didn't quite. Okay, Yeti M time. Just sneak around, sneak around, and then boom, we did some good damage to a couple of people there. Not quite a takedown, but. It's something. Oh, get rid of that. That feels good to do. Ah, the thing got in the way. Okay, work on the pea shooter then. He is so low on health. Our health is going up, by the way. There we go. Do I have to replace the bucket down once I use it? I'm not sure. I wasn't really looking at that, so I have no clue. <laughs> Come on, just less than a minute to defend this. As long as they don't push into overtime, we'll be a-okay. Definitely want to get Dr. Heels out. Just trying to be very careful. What do you think you're doing? I should have just exploded. Should have just exploded. Okay, Rose is running away. I'm gonna toss that all the way down. Once again, a little too far. Oh no, it actually got that Rose, weird. Usually it doesn't. Okay, run, run, run. We're in big trouble here. Oh no. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, not what I wanted. They might push us in right at the last second. We need more people out there right now. And this is where TV Head isn't very good at defending. He doesn't have that much health. Um, oh, okay, zombies win though. Very good starting round for today. Might only have time for one more round after that, but first and foremost, we're gonna go back to Giddy Park and promote this TV Head zombie. All right, so let's see what we get for promoting the TV head zombie here right over here. We got the no fail pale health upgrade, gain increased max health by wearing head protection. See if that'll give us the bucket on our head. And we also have the fast forward ability refresh reduction, overheated dinner refreshes faster after earning a vanquish with overheated dinner. So the exact same upgrades that we had for wildflower just about. I'm not gonna worry about actually applying these too much. Well, actually maybe I should do the, the bucket head one. Extra health seems like it'd be a good idea. So the no fail pale I'll equip once we get into another round. All right, here we go again. This time we're on the offense, so I think that'll make things a lot more interesting for us. Hopefully we can push into the win relatively quickly here. If there's anybody we can spawn in, we gotta take that opportunity. But I do see some other TV head zombies running around, so I'm guessing that they are probably on top of it too. But here we go. I'll leave the, um, the outhouse zombie until we're a little bit closer. Yeah, something like this. So they don't have to travel as far because they're much slower. But there we go. We can toss in one of those real fast. I'm just trying to think like, how can we be more aggressive? And this um, engineer thing might be a pretty good way to do that. The engineer turret, did they get me with that? Oh, come on. Okay, get rid of you. They have a lot of AI on their team, which usually picks off smaller targets real fast, like the Yeti. Hoping that um, engineer moves his turret a little bit closer soon. Well, we can get the nightcap quite quickly here. There we go. I think I'll go ahead and smack my bucket here. Probably won't last, but. You never know, might work in a pinch. Oh no, oh no, Yeti, come out and save me. I can't even get out of the goop. Want me to spawn in a Yeti. Uh, respawn a beacon. There we go, see? And it looks like that does destroy the bucket. Oh no. Okay, back it up from that. Get up here to avoid the chomper. Where's he gonna be? Once again, a computer chomper. So they probably have mostly computer players, at least a good four or five of them. And here's another one of them, <laughs> pea shooter. Why is it only the computer players currently defending? Okay, I'm gonna toss it over there, really trying to get rid of that acorn. He's a tough one to take on, but oh my. Let's keep it safe for a few minute, moments so that hopefully my bucket can come back. I can throw out the Yeti right here. Boom, I get the vanquish on the chomper. Damage the, uh, the uh, Snapdragon a little bit there too, and we're already at level two. Definitely getting rid of you. Let's toss that down there. But we really have to focus on giving a hard time to those plants that are actually on the point defending it. Don't know how well this is gonna work out, but I'm going to try for it. Ooh, ready, ready, ready? No, I couldn't quite. I don't know if that did damage, it's hard to tell. Oh no, that Colonel Corn ringing the pain. Did this soldier forget what team he's on? He's just attacking our spawnables. That's weird. But. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, they're throwing damage at us from all over the place. Oh, I got somebody with that, awesome. Might have just been a spawnable, yeah, it was a heal flower, but still, one less thing we have to deal with from them. It's always fun to try to find these sneaky spots to try to Spawn in the Yeti to surprise him like that. Oh, he's so low on health. Come on. Where is he? He's right there. See ya. Let's keep up with it. We have some decent armor build up here. Oh, get you for sure. He's so low, he's so low. Oh, got him. Oh, okay, somebody got me. Hmm. See, we're, we're 10 vanquishes in, but how far along? Oh, we're almost capturing this. They're contesting it still, but I think we could get it here. I'm really hoping for a win. So once again, I don't want to spawn anything too slow in the back here. We'll, we'll, we'll get a Yeti. Oh, there's a Chomper. What are these guys even doing over here, though? And there we go, looks like our team got it done. Good job. Destroy that for sure. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how many levels we end up gaining by the um, end of this round. If it's a full round, I can only hope a good chunk. Let's spawn in some more friends. I wouldn't mind this time just doing a bucket head. 
And I don't think they would expect... Oh, watch out for that potato mine. Don't think they'd expect a Yeti Imp so soon. Oh, no. Okay, they did. Well, actually, that was the Lightning Reed plant pot there. Watch out for this. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Definitely want to get rid of this Doom Shroom before it causes any of us Doom. We're already starting to contest now. Ah, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anything good. Let's see if I can't just sneak over and, yeah, <laughs> just do that. <laughs> that somehow sort of kind of worked. Put the bucket down in a spot that's probably gonna get destroyed very soon. But we're surviving for now. Get that pea shooter a little bit. Okay, somebody got gotcha. you. Let's get back on the point. Oh, I hear a chomper. Okay. <laughs> Just stick together as a team, try to give bonus armor to everybody. Ow, and we get taken out. But my bucket's still there. Come on. Keep pressing the square button until we can get through to it. So that, that's sort of what's fun about these, these two swarm classes, is that they both have a fun amount of strategy to them. But I would love to hear your thoughts on the TV head zombie, just like with the wildflower, were you able to get it for the 500,000 coin just being sold for by Rux? I would love to hear. And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's worth that price? Do you enjoy the class? Do you have any tips for me? I'd love to hear. And obviously, even though they're just about the same class, um, just with a different coat of paint, which one do you like more, the wildflower or the TV head zombie? These are probably our last two classes added to this game from what they've confirmed to us so far. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about them, I'm enjoying them. Like I've said before, it's sort of a shame that they don't have any kind of um, customizable. It's hard to feel like it's a true to form class without those kind of things. It's just a missing feature in a way. Um, but still, it's fun to play. I will enjoy leveling it up and maybe getting it to master. Okay, that wasn't too bad. How are we doing with vanquishes? 14 of them. It's not as much as last round so far for sure. Definitely enough to make a difference. It's probably not a placement of the bucket that's gonna last, but. Okay, I destroyed the, the explosion thing with the explosion thing right there. They're just not around right now. A little weird. Oh, that actually knocked him back a little. Oh no, I gotta be a bit more careful. We are still taking this point. I'm about ready to throw out another Yeti. <laughs> ready for the Yeti. <laughs> I like it. There we go, did some good damage to him. Was enough for a Vanquish apparently, even though I didn't hear the ding. I got him. And you too. Chopper's still trying to run through, but we got the point a little too late for that now, isn't it? Okay, so let's move into it. I really don't know where the best place to put the, the thing will be, but I'm gonna spawn in a Gargantua there and a Gargantua here. So this is where the, the TV head zombie should honestly shine a bit. We should be able to get a lot spawned in here, really bundle it all up and give some good armor to the guy. At least that's how it should work. Oh no, you down, well, where did that come from? What are you talking about? From way over there? He must have thrown it and immediately ran away. All right, well, let's try again. Oh, I should have, did I put a bucket down? I didn't realize I'm going to have to run this far. Okay, definitely gonna be worth it to put a bucket down that, because I thought we would just spawn right by the Gargantua thing. I didn't think we were gonna have to hop down like this. Okay, right about here seems fine to me. Spawn in more friends, whatever we can really. Healing zombie seems fine to me. Hey guys, you want some shielding? I got some armor for you. And that gives it to everybody around, I'm pretty sure. Like even the Gargantua. I'm not mistaken. Let's get rid of you. Ow, oh, the pea shooter was waiting for me now. If I had noticed he was there first, maybe I could have uh, gotten rid of him. But it is what it is. Okay. Um, the orange gargantua is really low on health, but if I can keep distracting them over there, that hopefully means the blue one can persist. Hard to say though. That's where the balance you try to make comes in. Once again, I didn't spawn in the right way, but I'll get used to it eventually. But we need to hang around this guy or he won't move forward. There we go. 
And we got uh, on the bottom left, you can see plus 45% armor. I think that's the maximum we can get to. It'd be cool if we could give him a speed boost or something. Time to blows up a pickle. All right, you get to it. Ah, oh, the blue one got destroyed, which means they are certainly going to be moving in on us soon. I, I see the shots of what looks like an oak or something. Who can we sneak up on? There's gotta be somebody around here we can take out. Soon, soon. Uh, there's not. Okay, that was a waste. Okay, let's put the bucket down. I don't think they're gonna get up this far, or they will the moment I say that. Okay, we landed the damage on him. Got him. Definitely get rid of this guy. Leave my gargantuar alone, please. Oh. Okay, sorta of hard to get over to ya. I'm gonna throw that as far as I can and hope it lands on him. Oh, that actually went too far. That's surprising. Okay, I got one of them. But this guy is just about to explode. That is not good. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this one. We just can't really break through. Okay, you know what? Let's play it safe. Go around the corner with the Yeti Imp. Ooh, hey! Okay, it did good damage, but not enough to take you down. But somebody did. Come on, come on. Yes! Gotcha. And we also have that times five vanquish streak. Looks like you're gonna fall down. Let's get him. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if I can't win the round, I might as well get a lot of anguishes on him, right? Something like that. Maybe I should push this one to the right a little bit more. Maybe I'll get luckier. Where can we hide the bucket? I think here's a decent spot. They might end up finding it, we'll see. Oh, I see that pea shooter over there. Or the Colonel Corn, either one. Yeah, we got two vanquishes with that. Nice. And there goes that pea shooter. Now we're starting to stack some stuff up. We're about 28 vanquishes. Can I get the Snapdragon? Almost. Very, very close. But they just keep destroying our gargantuars. Maybe if I can just chill out over here. I'll respond, you buddy. Nobody else seems to be around. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh my. Has this guy been hiding that whole time? Oh, I'm in trouble. I wish that guy revived to help me out, but no, I think he kept running. Oh well. Pretty cool Snapdragon costume there, though, for sure. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. We'd have to deliver quite a lot here in a very short amount of time. What are you doing over here? There we go, got him. I think I'm just gonna have fun and focus on vanquishes. I just don't see how much we can do right now as a singular player that we haven't already tried. Okay, that guy's vanquished. Oh, oh, we got her with that, nice. Ah, really? Burns me down so fast. Snapdragon is so tough to deal with in that way. Okay, come on, come on. Boom. And I sort of went the wrong way there. That's okay. Oh, oh, I could have done more damage to him there, would have been great. Now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in big trouble. Now I'm in super huge trouble. Destroyed another Gargantuar. Oh. Oh, so close, so close. Uh, no, don't slam on me. <laughs> Might be able to respawn at the bucket. It sounds like we're in overtime, but I think that even if we're in overtime here, I mean, it, there's a possibility we could get everything. I just don't think it's gonna work out that way. Okay, Yeti Imp, Yeti Imp. Ah, oh, ruined fun. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Ah, and there I am. <laughs> So I think this is about to wind down. We're at 30 vanquishes, which is actually more vanquishes than anybody on their team. Um, so that still shows that we're doing well here if the winning team doesn't have as many vanquishes as we do. But it looks like, yeah, that, that last guard can't you are. 
even if we delivered him, I don't know if it's going to give him the chance to do any mu anything much more than that. We'll have to wait and see. Everybody's pushing it for right now. Let's help out with that. Oh, don't you dare. Gotcha. And you. Okay, keep it moving. Watch out for that goat. Okay, no thank you, Citron. Oh no, who's over there? Was that another Colonel Corn to our left as well? Beating me up? Ooh, Vanguard from the Grave. Yeah, how are we doing with experience? We got another prize bowl, we can't make much use of. Or level six. That's pretty good. We started this round as level one, so that's quite a jump for one round. For sure, for sure. What are you doing? Oh, you're not actually there. That's a little mirage, a little illusion, a trick. I mean, we're pushing this, maybe we will be able to get it to the end. Definitely do away with that pea shooter. <laughs> and anybody else we can. But it looks like we just lost. All right, well, we tried our best. Let me get this Citron. No! <laughs> but there we go, two long jam-packed rounds filled with lots of vanquishes, and we were able to promote the, the, um, the TV zombie one. So that was pretty cool. Let's head back to Giddy Park. So there was a look at the new TV head swarm class for the zombies. Of course, now we've checked out both the plant and zombie versions. Like I said before, let me know which one is your favorite. And I had one quick curiosity. Do they have any taunts? They have one taunt. And it's him scratching his butt. What was the uh, wildflowers taunt? I don't know, I didn't see that. Um, so I definitely wanna check that out real quick. Um, They had vengeful flowers, so they just give a little wave. All right, well, nothing too crazy interesting there. But yeah, who knows? Maybe the last two classes added to this game. Either way, I've had so much fun with this game. There will be a few more episodes coming up showcasing some of the Lawn of Doom stuff I missed last year. So stay tuned for that and maybe more. It really all depends on what you guys want to see. So be sure to let me know. Either which way, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of Plans vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.